All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we're at another spa on our Mercado tours in Ciudad de Mexico, outside of Mercado San Juan. It's supposed to be a food market, and they serve exotic food here. Apparently, they got scorpions, so let's check it out, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, so we have a special friend here to visit the San Mercado with us, the homie Christian right here. Hey, I'm Christian Payan. I'm actually living here uh, currently in, uh, in Mexico. I'm doing a full ride fellowship in Hidalgo. For sure. Yeah, he spotted this spot right here. What is this? Tepache, so it's fermented pineapple. It's from the peel. Ooh, fermented pineapple. Dope. Let's try it out. Ooh, this is really good. Wow, it has a strong flavor. Honestly, it doesn't taste much like pineapple. It's just a hint. Yeah. Kind of tastes like um, almost like a um, Dr. Pepper Coca-Cola with like yeah. pineapple, but fresh, like not a lot of sugar. Ooh, delicious. And how many pesos was this, bro? 15 pesos. 15 pesos right here. So this is the scenes out here. We're just right outside of the Mercado San Juan. We're gonna, we're gonna make our way in. Yo, Christian got the fresh Dia de los Muertos kicks right there. Nike, yeah. right? Yeah, Nike. Yeah. Dang. Air Jordan 1. Air Jordan 1. Those are sick. Hola. So we officially just entered the market. Hello, overwhelming. There's a bunch of stuff here. What kind of salsa? Scorpion salsa? Scorpion and um, cricket. Scorpion and cricket salsa. Caracha. Roach. Caracha. And cockroach. Venado, jabalí, cocodrilo, león. Búfalo, cabrito, lechón, conejo, codorniz, lo que necesitas. ¿Todo eso aquí? ¿Todo se come? Allá en el... Hamburguesa, hamburguesa de león. Allá en el... Todo. León. So what I'm understanding is that they got lion burgers here among other exotic items and buffalo too man that sounds crazy I don't think I'm gonna go for a lion but maybe the scorpion so that's the lion that they apparently serve here y'all so there are all the exotic meats guys so it's the lion the cock crocodile they got regular ribeye meats too but dang guys exotic meats here buffalo too all right so they got some desserts here Ooh, Iberico pork. This place is known for seafood, so there's a bunch of raw seafood right here. Some more fish, so we might have to get some seafood here. Turkey, so they got some turkey for here for us. Gobble, gobble. Thanksgiving came early. We got a restaurant right here that serves scorpions and exotic crickets and stuff, but when you eat them while you're drinking the mezcal, and they got a bunch of other items here too, cheese, ham, and they have a restaurant upstairs if you guys uh, want to dine in on some scorpions. So I noticed there's a lot of like Iberical meat, a lot of scorpions, crickets, insects, some fresh fruit stand. Ooh, so they got spider here too, guys. More scorpions, chocolate scorpions, ooh. Some more cured meats, wine. I'm getting the feeling that it's kind of like tapas here. You got some cheese, wine, jamon, salami, prosciutto. Then you eat some crickets, scorpions, and drink it with wine or mezcal or tequila. Ooh, they got crocodile here. Let's see. Guys, apparently this spot claims to be the first spot that started this scorpion craze. But guys, these ones are actually still moving. There's a tarantula, scorpion, cockroach. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Cucarachas? Oh wow. Hey, so you guys, so these are cucarachas, cockroaches. He keeps them alive so he can fry them fresh for us to eat with a shot. Should we do this or just scorpions? Let us know. Ganai convinced us he's gonna fry one of these cucarachas for us and we're going to eat it with a shot, guys. So going in for you guys today. Wow. Guys, so the reason why they keep them alive is because you get to pick and choose which one you want to eat. So, I have this one right here. Yeah, that one looks nice. That one looks nice and brown. I like the color. Yeah, I'm going to eat that one right there. What would you say? All right, guys. So, we're at the El Gran Cazador, and we're going to try the scorpions here. They got some lime citrus for us. Naranja, orange, limon. How about it, Chris? Yeah, let's do it. How does this look, bro? It looks delicious, I'm not gonna lie. All right, it's gonna get that protein in, high protein. Let's try it out. Woo! All right, here we 
we go, guys. All right, about to try these live scorpions with the shot mezcal. Antes or después? Después. Después, all right. And try it out. first. Take the big one. All right, together. You ready? Okay. Cheers, bro. Cheers. All right, one, two, three. Oh. Mm. Good. Yeah. It's meaty inside. <laughs> I taste the protein. It's really crispy. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of chicharrones and like fries. Oh, I'm uh -huh. gonna watch down the shot. Mmm. Uh -huh. Wow. Woo, that shot just cleans it up. Ooh, not as bad as I thought. So we got another Christian here, uh, a homie that we just met at the bar, and he's gonna take our last scorpion right here. Okay. Go ahead. Cheers. Cheers. Delicioso, right? Muy rico. Muy rico? Muy, muy rico. Wow. <laughs> kind of tastes like chicharrones a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, poquito. Little bit, yeah. Hey, he's a G right here. He's going all the way in. Mm. Palate cleanse for the cockroach. All right, guys, so this is what happens when you make friends here at San Juan Mercado. They offered us to try some of these exotic right. meats. There's lion, buffalo, habali, which is wild pig, venado, which is bambi, avetrus, which is uh, ostrich, and cocodrilo. You guys know what that is. I don't have to translate that. And uh, some papa fritas. What is your favorite, bro? Uh, buffalo. Buffalo? Yeah, buffalo. It's tu favorito. Buffalo. Buffalo, all right. All right, a piece of crocodile right here. Mmm. They're good. Yeah, good. A bit tough, chewy. Kind of tastes like some very chewy fish. Mmm, it's not bad. A little salty too. All right, so this is the wild boar right here. Mmm. Javali is a pumba. How do you say it? Pumba is javali. Oh, so that tastes like a... That one's good. I really like that one. It tastes like a really lean pork. Really thick, chewy, lean pork. Mm -hmm. The homie Christian said it's pumba from Lion King. So we got the whole Disney cast on this plate right here. Leon, Simba, yeah. got the pumba, and the Bambi. <laughs> Okay, so Christian was a bit skeptical at first, but after trying it, he wanted to. He wanted the third one. I need a little piece. I need the protein. <laughs> hey, flex on him. Hey, just gave us some more protein for the gym. Christian definitely won up me. He picked the biggest one. Look how big this one is. Woo! I mean, this is my little one right here. He got a huge one. All right, Christian, I pressured him to get a cockroach. Uh, are you ready to try it? Yeah, I, yeah. What do you see coming out right now? The coo, I don't know if people can see that. Yeah. <laughs> So apparently there's some goo in the cockroach and it, it's coming out of here guys. He can see it. Christian got the huge one. I got the little one. He picked this poison, so it's gone one bite this. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Give me a second, it's taking a long time to chew. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking a long time to chew, like you said. Okay. And it's eating hands. <laughs> the scorpion was much more flavorful. This one kind of just tastes like um like a shell. Like it's really crispy and airy. Yeah. Very airy. Alright, let's take that song. I can't come I can't compare it to anything. Um it tastes very earthy. It tastes like I'm eating the ground. But it's all good. We're getting that protein in. Getting the protein in guys. How do you like it? It was way too chewy. I and I appreciate it getting stuck inside of my inside of my mouth. Yeah. I'm still chewing it, but I can only imagine how Christian feels because he got a huge one. Muy grande. <laughs> So the cockroach comes with um, tahini and limon and naranja. I definitely need this after the cockroach. Now all I taste is uh, naranja. <laughs> so you got three types of mezcals here. One is the regular one we just had. One is with the plant that's good for digestion. One is with the worm in it. If I wasn't eating all these cockroaches, I might try that one. I'm glad I was able to convince Christian, but he's a G. He followed through. Yeah. We're bonded for life now. Yes. Yeah. Cockroach butter. Oh, shoot. I think I got a wing in my teeth. So after you eat the cockroach, <clears throat> you kind of get like a cockroach cough because like some of the wings and the innards, 
are just like going down the throat still, guys. It's crazy. So Christian's gonna try the cro crocodile. That interested him. Yeah. Let me grab a piece real quick. Okay. Okay. So we got some Bambi, Pumba, wild boar, ostrich, crocodile. Right now, Chris Don is trying the crocodile. What do you think, bro? Spices taste great on it. Spices? Tastes a lot of spices, huh? It's chewy, right? It's very chewy. A little bit slimy, kind of tastes like fish. A little bit, it's slimy. Actually, it's really good. Almost beats jerky at first. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna give my DVW score. So the Coco Dino, I'll give it like a seven out of ten, cause I'm not a really huge fan of fish. The Habali, though, I give that one like a nine out of ten. I really like that. It would taste like pork. Fish. Is it crawling? Oh shoot, it's crawling. No, I'm kidding. Ooh, okay, it's moving now. <laughs> okay, he's going back into his home. All right. All right, guys. So all those cockroaches ran us up to 510 right there. So they got some fermented chilies here, some shrimp. Oh, Asian people eat that too. Got some beans, got some chilies, they articles. Got a bunch of chilies here. So there's a bunch of different foods here, arts, fruits, and desserts. Hola, DBW Familia. We got live music in here too, y'all. San Juan Mercado was a success. Leaving right now, there's a bunch of other things here, fruits, veggies, but we came here for the exotico comidas, the exotic foods. This is what this market is known for. There's a bunch of other food outside, tacos and regular Mexican food that you guys could try, but yeah, guys, it was a vibe, crazy experience. So on to our next spot. Like I said, as much to see here in CDMX, there's a little park outside the Mercado San Juan and a lot of great architecture. It kind of looks like a cathedral, it's lit.